Oh. <laughs> is he actually there? Is he? Oh man, she's begging you. Just say it. I know. Just say what it. Is Please. Up? Just say it. Like. He's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. Just... That was really creepy. Ooh. The let's bear. see. Let's see. Ooh. It's popping. Hey everybody, my name is Phil. I'm Erica. And today we're watching The Bear, Season 2, Episode 10. The finale. Let's dive in. I think this is still the first day. I don't know, she seems very comfortable. But she's also, she has that cool mm -hmm. vibe. That is going to table 42. We have another table 42. 42 tables? Guys, this is our first turn, okay? Got a full board tonight. We're looking good. We're gonna clear it, okay? Everybody feeling good? Yeah. Uh, I see an order coming in for six. And six and six. Oh, Chef, so much. Nolis, can I get an all day? Okay, what's going on? Did you see this fucking six tops? We're just sitting in a meeting. No, I'll talk to him around the first one. Oh, fire everything, okay? Yes. 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 Chef. Chef. Hands, please. No smudges. Thank you. Okay, no smudges. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Ooh. It's popping. Where are there 42 tables? Oh, she'll like it. I like this guy. <laughs> I think she's gonna love it. Oh, this is friends, oh, and, family. Is friends and family. The light above Jimmy's too hot. Implementing the note system. When do they have time to write these notes? Jimmy. How's everything, guys? Everything is fantastic, buddy. Really? Super. And hey, hey, hey. You're looking sharp, young man. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Sonny. So much so proud. Clear bear. How is everything, guys? Hey. Cousin, this is pretty great. Interesting that there's music playing. What do you think? It's really something. It's beautiful. I am blue. You thought it'd be more low key. Yeah. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Thank you so much. Maybe because it's just friends and family. Yeah, maybe. Very important to us. Mm -hmm. Very special to me too. Drinks are on their way. Uh, you're too kind, but I'm I'm really a soda guy. I don't drink. We are well aware, sir. The bear pop service, Mr. Gomez. <laughs> Can I get caviar balls? Uh, I want you to help sit with tickets. I'll have Josh cover your station, okay? Yeah, free. Yeah. I don't know where Josh went. What, what does that even mean? It means I don't know where the fuck he went. Uh, Marcus! Hi. Chef. Oh, no. Sid, tickets, please. Yes, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Yo, yep. run a little fork, Chef. Hey, People use them all, Chef. Shh, shh, shh. Sweetie, I want you to know that. Hey, I, give me the odds. The odds of what? Odds she shows. Dude. What, honey? Well, Matt, I was just gonna say how, like, you know, special and cool and great this place is, and how I'm, like, the most proud of you ever, and... That's everything. <laughs> okay, 75, 25. 75, she shows? 75, she doesn't. Sure. Got it. Marcus, we're down 12 red sets, all right? We need them now. They gotta fucking walk, like, right now. Your dad's on 40. He's good. Thank you. Cousin, uh, clear something. Okay. Go say hi. Yeah, eventually. Yep. Eventually. Where the fuck is Josh? No, just go. Josh. Yo, I'm going to have a I'm in the fucking shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Well, I'm getting there when I can get there. I'm what? saying, just. Yo, Chef Sydney, I need an all day. They both care about the right things. It's just they're just. Like... What? Why are you ignoring me? Cause you mad at me? What? Oh wow. Yo, 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 yo. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Yes, yeah, 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 Marcus. Go, please. I really appreciate you being so patient with me. Wow, I've been gone a lot. Honey, this is easier. What do you mean? I mean, like, you're easier. Easier now. Because you love this. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not as pissed all the time. Fuck me again. That's very sweet of you. What else? It's for service. I mean, you know. That's the point of this, right? Yeah. Fuck. I feel like this is going the way it's supposed to. 
chef. Yes, yeah. folks. Yes, chef. Handling chef. Yes, chef. Right. Pulling out there one shots again. How long has this shot been going? Ooh, good point. I wasn't even. Ever since Nat got pulled away, at least. Oh, great. Enjoy. Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? Oh. Oh. Is he actually there? Is he? Oh, I know. That was really creepy. Yeah. Ooh. Right oh, no. This shit is gonna put us behind. Okay, well, you have to do it again. What's well, gonna put us behind no, is if no, you no, keep no, 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 no. Mommy said that this is. I home. say send it back. What the fuck are these? How long have these been here? Those are seven fishes. These are cold. Uh, these are cold. These are fucking dead. Are these for the guy? Is the guy for the fucking what? Window? The fucking window is for the guy? Yeah, Why the fucking it's window, it's see? What the fuck? What? Please, what just fuck? refire. Just refire. You were out there refire. talking about It really is there. They've been sitting here for fucking hey, ever. Whoa. Refire. Watch it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this got cold. I was doing a lot. No excuse. Good? Yeah. You good? Keep going. Got it, Joe. Oh, what's she doing okay, it too? Guys, I'm hopping on seven fishes. Yeah, nice. Okay, let us keep up the pace. Why is was he invited though? Bridge. Uh huh. I see. Um. Okay. Uh. Carm, are you? Are you okay? Yo, Carm, can you hear me? Oh, was he stuck in there? Yeah, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Uh, uh, what happened? Right. These texts are coming out, baby. Yeah. Uh. Hey, chefs, it's getting a little loud in here. Oh my gosh. So what are we gonna do? Lock in. What are you doing? <laughs> well, what are you stuck in the friggin' thing? Uh, Tina, can, can you run Expo for me? I got two stations. Yeah, right. Uh, I can do it. What's going on out there? Hey, Tina, can you run Expo for me? I got two stations. Yeah, right. Let's go. Let's go. Stepping up. I love it. Okay, chefs, listen up. Let's look alive, yeah? I'm gonna plug everybody in. Let's listen to the sound of my voice and the sound of Richie's. We're gonna do this, yeah? We have five minutes to do this and we're fucked. All right. Five minutes. Five minutes. I got you, chef. Let's go. Who's getting Carmi out? <laughs> Mark, Marcus. Mm. <laughs> Ten seconds in. Drive. Okay, guys, we're gonna refire four Focaccia, okay? We're gonna walk that first. Four by four, pick up with the team. Beautiful. Pick up T-Bone, two by two. Jeff Lee's team table, 15. Uh, I need some more. Is Carmi still in there? I guess it's only five minutes. Wait, no, wait. He's getting this all out in five minutes? How quickly they. Yes, we got oh, oh, man, I know. Man, He's probably not believing yeah, in the, the team yeah. out there. Where's Kermie? Stuck in the wall. Hold him, call Tim. Hey. <laughs> Tony. Can you help me wipe dishes? Okay. Yes, chef. Thanks. What happened to that man? Like the, the, the guy that Tino's looking for. You nuts? It's scary out there. No, 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 you're nice. So just be nice. I can't do this myself. Yes, you can. I can't do this, but you know. New world order, pal. Let's go. Fuck! Jesus. Okay, guys. What, what, what can you do? Yeah. Take off the hinges? Go, 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 go. I don't know. Oh, they've gotten it open before. But the That's... handle broke off. Yeah, the handle broke off before, too. Oh. Okay, pick up lettuces for six, please. Chef. Marcus, we're gonna 86 them with Starna. Manuel doesn't do cherry, Chef. Thank you. Chef. Nice. 48 menus down, so we are full board, okay? We need to fucking drill, guys. Who's ready to fucking party right now? Yeah. Okay, listen. <laughs> he should. This is, this is his role. <laughs> we're all gonna be smoking cigarettes soon. 
They're all gonna be smoking cigarettes soon. Uh, fire G bone two by four by four. The fact that they can all do this without Carmi. Yo, Sid, we gotta hold the fish. We gotta show. You do the damn thing. You guys yeah, uh, Connor, let's sub Amberjack, please. You're terrible at this. You're no good at it. Wow. Go faster, motherfucker. Keep going faster. Why are you so slow? He's going you... through all this self doubt right now, but. I bet he's not really there. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> like a whole other dude. <laughs> Blown away. Oh, shoot. Oh shit! No, no. <clears throat> Pete. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want you to tell them I was out here. Oh, no, no, no. It's no, totally no. okay. We got a seat for you. Oh, I, I, I know. I know. Nat is so pumped to see you. Mm -hmm. It'll be so fun. Carm is killing it. <laughs> I just don't. I just, I just don't. I, I just don't think I can take it. You listen to her. Sure. What can you take? <sighs> I want you to go back in. Just don't. Didi, what did he... Stop, man. <laughs> would she blow up on him? I love them so much. I don't know how to show it. Wow. Mm. Just go in and just tell me it's okay. Didi, I don't... I don't deserve to see how good wow. this is. No. I yeah. want them to have this good thing. You're not gonna hurt it, I promise, I promise. Plus, we gotta get all the dinners in before the baby, so. Who's baby? Oh no, oh no, is that gonna, is that what's gonna make this pop off? Oh, she's good. Is it good? Oh, you had a Or because she, she didn't tell her. That's wonderful, Pete. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's good. But she was probably more hurt that she didn't know. Donna, I. Could you just come in and we'll we'll pee. You're very sweet. You're sweet. I'm gonna go. And I promise you, I will I will I will call them, I will come in, I will I, I will talk to them. Donna, don't I need you to say it's okay. okay please. She's begging you, just say it. I know. Just say what it. Is please, all... just say it. Like he's gonna say it. I guess his whole thing is that, like, Nat really wants her there. Yeah. So he's just, like, acting on behalf of his wife, but... Okay, and... Fuck! You! <laughs> yeah! 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 Five minutes probably felt forever for him in here. Because like he probably also gets it. It's like they're busy; they can't like focus on getting him out. Mm. Oh gosh. Dog, is is Bruh. that met? Oh god, barely. Dude, I'm so sorry. Oh. No, 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 no. Just, just a little bit of help you work. Wild. Hey, oh, god, he's crying. You okay? Yeah, yeah. This is so great. Wow. Awesome. Hearts were right. Yeah. It probably hurts him so much this that he can't say anything. Easy. I mean, I would probably still say something. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of people, a lot of history. It's just a lot. Yeah. I wouldn't hold it against her. Yeah. No. Not trying to this help one. her understand. Yeah. Not this one. I don't, I'm just saying I think I found something that'll make it better. Okay, what is that? Someone to fire. Smoking crack and happy. That's wild. That's what I said. Right. He said it makes him kick so much ass. I mean, that just can't be true. I mean, <laughs> we're good. We're doing really good. Really? T, I think I did this to myself. <laughs> Do what to yourself? I told him I have to fire him, but I need to check with you. No, no, you can fire him. You should fire him immediately. All right, cool. I'm going to fire him before he comes back in here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, surprise on 51, please. Dessert, sir. Not for me, Gary. Gold. Thank you very much. Not tonight. I've, uh, I'm good. Mr. Jeremovich insisted. Oh, he did, did he? He did. Was he trying to fucking kill me? Chocolate banana. Is that from the dinner? You, uh, I think it might be. Mr. 
Jeremovich thank you for me? I will. Thank you. Enjoy. No, no, I can't remember the reference. Yeah, neither do I. This is big, but they both know immediately. I'm stuck in a goddamn refrigerator on the opening night of my fucking restaurant because <laughs> I didn't have reception when Tony called and there's their shelves on the wrong side and there's art that's fucking shit and, and we're tearing tape like assholes and I just like I failed you guys. Wow. It's not gonna happen again. Huh. No, that is so silly, baby. He's he's in the he's in the walk-in, but it, like the door handle came off. Stuck in the walk-in? Yeah. 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 I'm just gonna check the front for you, please. I'm just gonna get some air. Yeah, sure. One sec. I mean, it was an intense night. I wasn't here. Right? What the fuck was I thinking? Like, oh. I was gonna be in a relationship. She's not even there. Claire is gonna hear it. Psycho. Yeah. That's oh. Why, that's why I'm good at what I do. That's how I operate. Oh, no, I am the best because I didn't have any of this fucking bullshit. Right? I could, I could focus. And I could concentrate, oh, no, and I had a routine. The relationship, yeah. Like fucking cell reception. And... Don't drop a name. <laughs> I think she got it. I don't need to provide amusement or enjoyment. Because no amount of good is worth how terrible this feels. Oh. Whew. Damn. It's just a complete waste of fucking time. Oh, no. Sorry, you feel that way, Claire. Oh. <laughs> He's like, what? Claire? Who let you back here? Supposed to be talking to Tina. Hey, Cameron. Hey. What's wrong? Cool shot. What did you just do? Why? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you heard. Fucking okay. asshole. What did you just say to that fucking girl? Richie. Richie, what? What the fuck did you just say to that girl, Carly? You shut the fuck up and get me the fuck out of here, please. So, cousin, I don't understand why you can't just let something good happen for once in your fucking Are life. You fucking what the fuck is mad right now? You? Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not fucking kidding you right now. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck me. Here we go. Yeah, fuck okay, you. Yeah. You wouldn't have shit yeah, without me, yeah. so yeah. Right. You wouldn't be able to pay yeah, for your fucking yeah. life yeah. or your fucking kid. You oh, fucking okay. loser. Oh, oh, no. no. Yeah, at least I got it. You don't have shit. Shit. No, what you're, you're obsessed with my fuck family. You. That's what you are. Yeah. You're fucking I'm leech. Obsessed. You're a fucking yeah. leech. I'm obsessed. You're a fucking you. leech. Yeah. I should have cut you I the fucking fuck love out. You. I should have cut you the fuck out. You fucking need me, you motherfucker. Fuck you. Shit. Fuck you. It's a fucking fuck shit. It's gonna open. Fuck you. Hope you fucking breathe to death. Hey, Carm. Um. I know I'm gonna see you in a little bit, but uh. Oh, the message she didn't play. I know it can be hard to, like, find a second to feel good about what you're doing right in the middle of when you're doing it, but, uh, I just hope you know that I'm... I'm so proud of you. Inky would be so proud of you, Bear. <sighs> I, I really love you. How's it Incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's the thing. Mm. It took until she was the head chef of a restaurant that she opened for him to realize that. Oh, oh nice. I mean, that's the thread, right? Like all of those restaurants have it. Had too much it's so genius how they ended the season. What do you mean? Like it's showing the bear at the end, literally, like ending it with the first time doing service. It's like, that's the bear. Mm. This was the bear. <laughs> like, this is the restaurant, the bear. The chaos and everything that comes with it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, where do you want to start? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess we could start with like just the service in general. I think it was kind of cool to to see them firing 
on all cylinders and then it's slowly turning into chaos. Like, it, it really is like something that like one small thing can compound into so much. Like domino effect. And something like that. Uh, but it was also really cool to see to see Richie step up and kind of play that role that that girl was playing when he was staging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I think he was like the perfect person for that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, I thought it was really cool. Like they, there's obviously a thing that they need to work on, but that was the point of tonight. It's like to, to identify those things and then a week later have those things figured out. Because, mm. yeah. I guess it's kind of weird to me that, I guess it makes sense and it's weird that this trial night is with friends and family because it makes sense because, you know, you want to, these are the people that are going to be supporting you and you want to, you know, treat them. At the same time, you care so much about what you're putting out because of those people that, I don't know, like making, like having that attitude of let's make mistakes to learn is kind of thrown out the window. You know what I mean? Like it was just like random people in that room that were just like doing a trial run for. I think they're like, okay, we, we messed up. These people understand what this is, but... They care so much about the people in the room that, mm. yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It, it doesn't seem like point. the best learning environment for me. Oh, right. I am. I actually feel the opposite. That that's actually the best because it sounds like for the kind of restaurant they want to become is the like is they high. want. Yeah, they want to care that much about their customers. Mm. So it's like they're setting the bar really high. And then when you learn from that, I guess services after that, because they are just kind of people they don't know, then it makes it easier, I guess. And does that make sense? Yeah, I, like I, I see both so sides. So I, I see it's... both sides for sure. Mm. Yeah. I loved seeing them just like overcome that hump. Like the things that went wrong are like pretty major things. <laughs> Well, like, not just the fridge. They ran out of forks. Yeah. They had to lose an employee. Um, on top of everything going on already. With mm-hmm. all the orders coming through. and Honestly, I think that was just the biggest thing. They're just getting drowned in tickets. Yeah. And, like, there's, a, there's other things that lead up to that. Like, they're putting the tickets in too soon. Like, like the people who are taking the orders. Like, so there's, like... a there's things that lead up to that point. Mm-hmm. That needs they to were mo- they were moving too slow in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. So like there's there's a lot of like different things that were part of that. But I think like the the beginning end of it was they were getting drowned in the number of tickets that were coming in. Mm-hmm. It's hard to organize. Then like all these things are, are happening in your head, and then people get stuck and, and literally stuck. So mm-hmm. it, it, it's really really tough. So I, it's cool that Richie was able to get them. I don't really understand the five minute thing. I think it was just kind of, if they let like this continue for cool. another five minutes, it's like, they'll, they will never be able to get out of it. Because mm-hmm. like, things still continue to happen mm-hmm. in that time, right? I'm amazed though that they could even put out that many dishes in five minutes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess they were all at certain points of like, completion mm. at that point. Like they, they fired them already. They might have been like a couple seconds or minutes out mm-hmm. it's just a matter of plating and putting it out there but, just thinking so. about like mind you the only other thing i have <laughs> to compare it to is hell's kitchen yeah, but yeah, like yeah. the timing of like how everyone has to work as a team like that having to be so pristine mm-hmm. it's really impressive that they got that done in five minutes yeah yeah, yeah and, for sure uh, and the irony of carmi in there not doing anything during that time and they killed it and and him in there thinking he had failed them yeah. When clearly I feel like he, yeah, it's opposite. He did an amazing job with them because they were able to do all that without him. Mm. I feel like that's the testament of his great leadership. That, like, looking at the characters, like the come up too. Was mm-hmm. like, wow. Sure. But I see where he's coming. Yeah, from too. because like, what what he was saying when he was like he failed them, it had nothing to do with their ability to overcome that and like he be was getting them. distracted. Yeah, it was like the reason that a lot of the things, like the little things that were turning into big things, were because of him, right? Like the attention to detail and, and those and those smaller things um, that he just was double-minded about. 
if he was paying attention to those things, it wouldn't have happened. Mm. Whereas, like, even the fork thing, like, Matt was like, oh, didn't you say, like, wasn't this your call that we weren't going to have enough fork, or we were going to have enough fork? So, like, even if he just, like, stopped to think about it and not think about anything else and really was focused on that, that small issue would have been resolved, or the fridge wouldn't have been an issue if he got that resolved. So, like, I think that's more so what he was talking about in terms of, like, yeah, like, he, he wasn't on top of things. To the point that like the tape wasn't being done and he was letting it slip. Mm. Yeah. So the little things. I think I think he wasn't as shocked that they got out of it because he does. He really does believe in them, mm -hmm. and he knows that they can do it. Mm -hmm. It's just if you're left with your thoughts for long enough, mm -hmm. it's just kind of you know you spiral a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, mom? Sid? Oh, oh Sid. mom. What do you want to do? Talk about the mom a little bit. That's hard. Mm -hmm. That's hard. I feel for her. Yeah. Well, I, well, I get that. Is she bipolar? Is that? Um. Did I they say? I don't know. I don't think they said, but yeah. that seems possible. Sure. Uh, yeah. That's hard. I, I, yeah. Well, there's so much guilt and shame there. That, yeah. You know, she loves him so much that how do you even... If she doesn't know how to express it, it's probably going to come out in some like really effed up mm. way. That's probably what she's scared of. And Pete. I know. Sweet, sweet Pete. <laughs> that really got me when he was crying. I was like, wow, like yeah. that just shows how profoundly he or how deeply yeah. he cares. In, in that interaction with the mom, I thought it was... He was like, he was doing this because Nat wanted this to happen. Mm -hmm. But afterwards, I was like, no, it's like he he cares about what's happening with her and he understands it. And he's been around for quite a bit of it. Mm. So he, he does know. Um, I think he just knows how much it means to Nat. Yeah, I think, yeah, to all of them. Even if yeah. they, they're yeah. scared of her being there. Yeah. It's still mom, right? Yeah. And they want her to be okay. Mm -hmm. And... They, it is an Italian family, like, like, the matriarch is always, like, very, very respected. So it's like, yeah, it, 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 it matters a, a big, like, a, a lot to them. Mm. And, I don't know. It was interesting that the, the biggest thing for her was that she needed to be told that it was okay for her to do this. Mm -hmm. What do you think that was about? Uh, I don't know, like, I feel like she just needs to be affirmed in her feelings. Mm. I think everyone needs that. Like, Because she knows not being there is tough. Yeah, I feel like she's already carrying so much shame and guilt. She doesn't need to add she, another yeah, little thing. Yeah, like, yeah. For someone to be like, oh, but you have to, and then not say that it's okay. Like, that's like just gonna send her deeper, Like, you I'm know? telling you, like, I need this yeah. to, like, be okay with myself. Yeah. And I just need you to affirm that. Okay, that makes sense. And, and she tried. She tried. She made it to the front. That's huge. Mm. The fact that she even got her hair done. Yeah. She got her makeup done. She that, looked good. That step over the threshold is the toughest, right? Yeah, like, to even step out the door or even decide yeah. to... To go, she just didn't make it to the other side of the, the door. But yeah, but I think that that's probably the hardest step right there. I, I mean, obviously, like getting ready and, and doing it, it, it can be tough. But like, yeah, just like she when you're actually close. confronted with it, I think that's really, really, really hard. So yeah. it's and great then, that she got that far. Oh man, I was so scared for her and where this was gonna go when he told her about the baby. Yeah, yeah. And her note, it's just like another added thing. Like, dang, like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that how how badly I've scarred them? Is mm -hmm. that how how badly I've traumatized them or like caused such an issue for them that they can't even tell mm -hmm. me that I'm gonna have a grandchild? And it could still be that. It could still turn into that eventually. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm scared of. Like, mm -hmm. she went home. What did she do? Yeah. Or like, how is she coping with that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. We got Sid, we got Claire, oh, we got yeah, Marcus. Sid. Sid, oh yeah, you're wondering about like what's triggering for her. I think what the it was just the that time the tickets. Mm -hmm. I think that was like traumatizing for her when she almost quit. 
She did quit. The beef? <laughs> oh, we did, she actually did quit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. She, yeah. Yeah, you're right, she did quit. Yeah, that time. And then just having that again. Mm -hmm. And then obviously she had a failed venture before the Just beef. all, like, coming to the surface. Yeah, and the fact, you know how, like, when you do something for so long, you just, you just hear it? Like, the way that we keep thinking we hear our kids crying. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's like a phantom cry. You're like, what is it? <laughs> Because you're just so used to hearing it sometimes. <laughs> I feel like that's the thing with the tickets. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, it's still going, but it's not like it's done and it was successful. And I don't know. I feel like it's like the first time anyone performs something that is so important to them. Mm -hmm. And it's done. You did it and it just makes you sick. <laughs> you hear that a lot. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. A lot of nervous energy. Just yeah. kind of getting yeah. it all out. Exactly. What else did you say? Claire? Mm. Claire. Yeah. Man, that sucks. I mean, it's one thing for Carmi to feel the weight of, like, things going downhill with the restaurant, mm -hmm. or what he deems as going downhill for the restaurant, like, not up, up to his standards. And obviously, it, like, for him, it was, like, like, that feeling, like, he, he, he felt like he took an L that first time. I feel like. Yeah. Like he realized all, all these it things. Was. It was. Like it, it, I mean, yeah. for his standard, I think it was, for yeah. sure. And it's like, wow, this is because I was distracted. And it's not worth That's that feeling. So nice. But now I'm curious that he, now it seems like he's lost Claire. I wonder what he's going to feel like, how he's going to feel about that. Like, oh, like losing her. Is that, is that worth, worth it? The restaurant. I, I don't know. I think the <sighs> show just shows a good... A good uh, uh, illustration of how tough it is to balance, I guess, being a yeah. restaurant owner and having a life. Anything else? Yeah, I, I mean, if you've watched at all, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of Claire <laughs> or like the relationship. Yeah, I know, me too. <laughs> but like, because we're so on the side of the restaurant, we just yeah, want to see the well, restaurant. Yeah, well, not, but not only that, but like, I, I don't think maybe it's something that Carmi isn't sharing enough of it with her but i feel like there should be enough context to know and understand how big of an undertaking what Carmia is putting together is mm -hmm. and taking up that much time and and kind of having the ex expectation that he is there as much as a like anybody else mm -hmm. is a bit unfair like even even the outburst that he was having like read the context of the like it's opening night it's his restaurant you know how much this matters to him he's stuck and he's like venting mm. to like you know who, who knows and you can't you can't take what he's saying in that moment to be like the end of your relationship like sure that's a problem and that's a discussion but you can't walk away and be like this is it mm. right like it, it, and i don't know that that is what it is but it's like that part of it is that like understanding the situation reading the room kind of thing I feel like has been a blind spot in her approach to the relationship mm -hmm. and that was an illustration of that mm -hmm. like for sure it sucks to hear that and I'm sure there are pearls of truth in what he was saying yeah for sure but he's also in one of the worst situations that you could imagine for him in this night mm -hmm. so you can't or like you, you shouldn't hold all those words to him. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's a fair point though. Like how much has Carmi actually shared with her? Because if yeah. he had told her, like this is a really big deal, I don't know. I'm sure he lives it out, but I, maybe she needs to be told explicitly that like this is really important to me. This is like, or at least like for one of the days, like tell her his schedule <laughs> and be like, this is yeah. what I have going on. So if you call me, I'm sorry, like, I don't pick up, I'm sorry, or, you know. Yeah. And have... Always both yeah. communication. But I think it's also, yeah, I was going to say, you just communicate that. So maybe it's not entirely, like, on her, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she just has no idea that that is what, you is know, expected. That, yeah, of him and, like, the pressures that are on him. And, like, those kinds of responsibilities... Like, I'm sure she knows that he opens, he's like, you know, it's his restaurant and he's opening it, but she probably has no idea what that actually entails. Yeah, that's fair. Anyways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. favorite, the only one is Marcus for me. Oh, Marcus. Oh, wait, what about him? Just the end. All those text messages. Oh, yeah. From his nurse. I didn't, See, I... another example of, like, being a chef and, like, having intense days. Like, this is going to be there every day. Mm-hmm. And obviously he really cares about his mom. So, like, Carmi, job, love life. Um, Marcus, job, family. Yeah. But Sid I mean... has literally no commitments except the restaurant. Mm-hmm. And I feel like at the end, like, she's the only one that they've really panned in to show, like, this is what she... Mm-hmm. This is what she wanted, and finally, kind of got like her dad's <laughs> approval. And, and it doesn't seem satisfying. <laughs> I don't know. Her, maybe, maybe, seem... maybe it was. She seems. Yeah, for... I was happy. Yeah, I, I feel like. Okay. For her. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but I mean, with, with the Marcus thing, this was one day, but that that could happen in any situation. Like for sure, it's an yeah. intense. Like, but if you're working, like you could miss an entire day's worth of messages. Like that happens. Um, like if you're locked in on something, but but I mean, but they've never, I guess, worked in this level of intensity because it. I don't know. The impression that I got is before a night like this, he was able to attend to all those calls mm. and all those messages. Yeah, no, for, for it sure. Because it seemed like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, but at the same time, texts. also, I think the hope is that this is as crazy and as intense as it would have gotten, right? Like, this is the trial night. This is the night where everything goes wrong. There will be nights where things feel like this again, but hopefully by then, some systems have been yeah. implemented, yeah, some yeah. fail safes and like you know backup mm-hmm. plans. But yeah, yeah. So hmm. we'll, we'll see what happens there. I mean, obviously that's gonna if what we think happens happens, mm-hmm. then that'll be a, a huge blow to him. And he's such a strong part of the team mm-hmm. that that'll be really tough. Yeah. It's nice they added some comedic relief with Josh. Josh, Josh, meth. Josh. Oh, yeah. Meth in the back. And yeah. just like how Mark was like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're fired, by the way. Let me check. <laughs> yeah, check. <laughs> oh my gosh. He was like, I have a smoking it. Makes him work better. <laughs> He's like, I saw him cutting those carrots. <laughs> He's really fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Damn. Oh, man. That's too bad. Okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, I don't know. I'm sad now. There's yeah. nothing else for now. What, what did you think of the series so far? I love it. I think they do a really great job of character development, restaurant development, <laughs> story development. Yeah. Like how they told the story was really great, um, even though it meant going back in time and not seeing the restaurant progress. It was so necessary, and like just the art of it was like mm-hmm. really, really well done maybe except the understanding the depth of Carmi and Claire's relationship and lack of communication yeah. <laughs> between the two like I feel like it didn't have to get this bad you know yeah but I don't know I mean I I mean that has nothing to do with like the show the maker of the show yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a little tidbit of the story <laughs> that it's frustrating for sure uh, I'm, I'm really interested. Like, I, I obviously really like this one. This is one of my... I think it's, it's up there in terms of... It's really good. Yeah, Even the shows camera work. Yeah, like, I like the artistic choices the that they make. Yeah, it's so interesting. Like, it actually makes you feel like you're watching art. Mm-hmm. And, or, like, yeah, just not only how things were shot, obviously the food. Yeah. And just showing the, the discipline and the culture. I don't know. Just yeah, just I think, I think the... A lot of it... Uh... I think a reason that I like it so much is because there's so much of it that I can parallel with like sports and like like the approach to sports in terms of like the mentality and the discipline. And I think oh, yeah. that part of it I really enjoy, like the Mamba mentality type of approach to something where you, you care so much about something that you like you show up, you you know, you, you, you do you do things the right way and I feel like yeah, like when they when they were like doing all the stuff in the kitchen, Richie was driving. Like I was like, yeah, like that, that that's like how I feel when I'm watching sports. Like it's really really cool to see um, things going the way that they're going and people being passionate about it. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and I love the the stories. I think like just each of the storylines, the mm-hmm. the back 
the background behind each person is so it, it, things developed well I think there's enough yeah, time yeah. spent on each person that there's weight and there's gravity to their choices and mm -hmm. um, like if something happens to the restaurant you have an understanding as a viewer what it means to Tina what it means to 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 Sid like it, there, there's there's different meanings to each mm -hmm. of them and it matters like so it, it, there, there feels like there's stakes to it which I think is really cool mm -hmm. And I don't know, obviously the theme of this restaurant was rebuilding. I mean, this this season was kind of like rebuilding and getting to this place. I feel like it'll be really interesting potentially next season where they chase a star or mm. like refine their systems and like get a visit from like the Michelin man. I think that'll be really cool mm. to see that entire process. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, they're not there. You, you could like, it's very drastically different from where, where Richie was, was staging. Mm -hmm. Like still, like they have the, they have the principles there, but it's still rough. Yeah, they right? have what it takes. It's just a matter of yeah refining. For sure. So it'll be cool. I think that that's gonna be a fun process to to see happen. Like mm -hmm. them iron out the kinks and and figure it out. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to. It. I don't know when it comes back. I feel like it's gonna be a while because this one wrapped up. Uh, I don't know, earlier this year, like a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and that writer strike just ended. Yeah. Okay, like by the time you you watch this, it it would have been done for a while. But when we were recording this, the writer strike just ended, so they're probably just picking up the the writing of this now. So it's 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 gonna be a while, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Boo. One other thing I totally forgot that I like about this show is it's um how it touches on mental health. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> I feel like I'd expand it. We've been talking a lot now, so I don't... No, it's all if good. If I expand on it, you know, we'll be here a while. Yeah. But, like, that, obviously, I love that element. Food. freaking love food. Especially if it's, like, fine dining and, like, hearing about all the menus and, yeah. like, the different... Um, yeah, different weird ingredients that they put together. I'm like, oh, man, I would love to try that. Um, yeah, mental health, food, and then everything that goes into, like what I said earlier like an amazing show. like the development and the, mm -hmm. the directing mm -hmm. yeah it just everything just felt so intentional yeah. and I really enjoy shows that are that way yeah, like nothing sure. is by accident mm -hmm. okay yeah that's really good I love it <laughs> cool awesome well hopefully you loved it as well hopefully you enjoyed watching with us uh, we're sad that season 2 is done um, but whenever season three comes, uh, we'll be watching it and reacting it here. So, uh, hope we enjoyed that. We will see you for the next show, whatever that is. Peace.